What, what, what the, the hell is that? All right, Whoa! We gotta avoid, 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 avoid! Hey! Oh, I think I unintentionally took over. Okay. That's on camera because that was I, awesome. my hands were just there and it's like, take over immediately, vehicle departing lane. Okay. Uh, my brother brought up a good point. Um, you know, years ago, he said, if, uh, speaking of looking down. Um, yeah, yeah. So You got it, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he said, if everyone just gave, you know, the three, two, three seconds in between, mm -hmm. at, like, basically accidents would basically evaporate, yeah. number one. Two... Uh, it would alleviate traffic. Everyone would just zipper merge the way they're supposed to zipper merge. Bingo! Um, you wouldn't get, you know, the accordion effect. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. That, well, that's another good way to put it. I, I've called it the the bungee, the scrunchy, the slinky. Yeah, just that, that bolt, too. Yeah. that yep. bunching. Well, here's the dreaded spot. There the it Prius is. is already okay. there. Well, I've it's... seen people since because somebody pointed it out too that like humans just actually going through that illegally. Yeah. Well, here we go. We could say that that Prius was a lead car in this scenario. Whoa! Oh, there, there you we go. go. <laughs> yeah it's sketchy this spot's fun yeah, yeah. um and what was hilarious i was i was giving my wife like instructions what we were doing on that test when while i was talking to her and doing this whole thing i didn't notice a car that went right through there by the bus if you look at that that test video in that first bit there's this little red honda that just actually goes through here and turns right and the audience pointed huh. that out and i was like oh my god that's hilarious they're like yeah the human screwed it up before you even started your test yes I was like, oh, the case made for me. Yep. I am intrigued by the fact that it's not trying to go right now. And I don't assume that that means that it suddenly now reads right on red. Ooh, it's detecting the green light from the bike lane. Some people thought that we were running red lights downtown, not realizing they were the bike lane signal lights, which... That's such it's, a it's, good point. Yeah. I never really even noticed that. Like, yeah, so that's such an go. edge case, right? It is. It's Hey, shout out to edge case. What's hey. up, buddy? <laughs> but yeah, that that is kind of weird. And it seems to sometimes not go right on red, maybe because of the congestion. Um, I got to take over here because we got to get back over to that spot, test it again. Yep. Um, but yeah, like on, on during that big test I was doing, unless it's another problem, bus lanes, it just does not have it built in to avoid them as it currently stands which that's technically a legal issue because it's not allowed to ride in the bus lane but also a small concern not one that i put a whole lot of weight in as well but it is a technical concern right now a lot of people with serious concerns into the bike lane i'm like oh, yeah man. just go back just use that charger as my nav point because it puts us on the same path but this is basically how i did that 10 lap test i was like all right i'm coming around pull out now get in front of me it was pretty great. Well, let's see. Uh, we MTS have no lead bus. car, but we've got a big ass bus partially occluding the the posts. And it's so funny watching it try to figure this out. It's like, uh, <laughs> look at that. It is just inching up like it's going to go past this guy. I won't let it go all the way. We have people coming up behind us. Will it correct itself? Do you see? All right, now I'm going to have to. Huh? It might have, but I uh, just, I don't want to block traffic no. and, and be that guy. That's so interesting. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And it's it, and they're relatively new as far as uh, we'll, we'll do uh, one more little pass on that thing. Now, now it's do just you, funny. Do you think sometimes letting it go is bad for the next build? Oh, as far as like not intervening yeah. and like letting it figure out? Yeah. No. Um, I, I don't because, well, and I could be wrong here. So this is my, my current understanding is that when you're disengaging, it's sending that data back to Tesla. Right. And if you... If you didn't disengage, maybe it is not advantageous. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, actually, yeah. I, I could see that. Because um, if it didn't know that there was an issue, then there's nothing to correct. Right. You're you're so, you're letting it kind of wallow, like left and right, making no making yeah, its own decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but at the same time, now the wallowing's okay. Fair. Because we're not disengaging yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's an important point. That's that's why I often do prefer to disengage and and when i'm doing deliberate things like this i don't like to sandbag the the data by showing mm. it failing over and over and over and over because it's, it's a test that we're intentionally repeating there should almost know. be like a like an fsd handbook you know like, right yeah that'd know. be awesome well there should be i'd be okay <laughs> with that I, I definitely think there should be a lot more information than less yeah i mean some type of communication through tesla all right, now it has no reason to mess us up because it can see everything, but right. it's still sort of floating it is. around. It is. And it is. So it, once it, if it can see it the whole time, it usually does it right. We're getting really close though. So I'm gonna actually disengage just to report. System is struggling with bike lane pylons. 
at least do some diligence to make sure that gets back. Because I know they get that data back whether or not I put a voice note on it just by disengaging. Mm. That's just an automatic feedback that Tesla gets. And I wonder though, like, nah, it's one of the reasons that I like to test as much as I do because I'm hoping kind of like when you buy a bunch of like lottery tickets, maybe it increases your chance of being seen. Yeah. I'm hoping that by as much driving as I do, that the issues are more obvious because they're getting more from me as yeah. much as I'm driving to hopefully feed the data engine to push out better builds going forward. But it's it's really interesting to wonder like how that's actually happening in the background. Like how are they sourcing and did my reports make it into this two weeks or the next two weeks? Right. You know, and like how is that actually functioning? It's hard to say. But I, I wish I still, uh, there was a period of time where I also had the, the snapshot button like a lot of the OG testers do. I think Chuck Cook still has his little snapshot camera button because he hits that end as the voice recording if i if i i think that's what he said in one of his more recent videos on version 12. um because I mean, we we all lost uh, those who came in after the og testers we lost the little snapshot camera button i think some or maybe when version 11 came out i think that's when it, it went away because it was just a that, little camera button you yeah would just push. I, I remember people hitting it yeah. i thought you still had it no, yeah, mine's been gone for a long time. I'm pretty sure, yeah, version 11, when the single stack build came, I think that went away and we got the voice note. Yeah, well, it makes sense that the voice note would just basically give the same snapshot, you know? Yeah. But I don't know why Chuck would still have the snapshot. Well, I think Chuck and Chris, too, uh, from Dirty Tesla, okay. I don't know if he does in his current, and the Model Y, his, his wife's Model Y, his original three did. Yeah. Um, I don't know if when getting the new car... That if they lost that uh, snapshot button, I'm sure somebody will say in the comments. Mm. Um, but that was kind of cool. I liked having more ways to give feedback. I I really tried to use the email to the FSD team to try to establish more communication because I wanted to really be like their guinea pig. I wanted to be able to, <laughs> be like, hey, you guys, if, in your data, if you have a trouble spot, I'll go there and I'll get more data for you. Like, let's do it. I wanted to be a part of the, the team in that way, uh, which is why I was actually trying to see if I could be a part of the whole vehicle prototype team thing. Uh, I think you're a perfect candidate. That'd be fun. If, if it opens up in LA or San Diego, I, I, I might jump on that. Who better, but, right? Yeah, like, I appreciate that. Honestly, I, like, really. I would Tesla, love the hell out of Tesla, if you're it. listening. Yeah. <laughs> I will test yeah. the hell out of any prototype. Yep. Day in and day out. I mean, the requirements are to be flexible and be able to work at different times. It doesn't get more flexible than this. <laughs> 100%. You've got years worth of data, man. Like, I'll probably try to put that into the resume. That? I'll take I, the, I would. the RoboTaxi dashboard stuff and yep. put that on the resume. I got 1,300 hours on FSD, this many trips. Like, mm -hmm. What what I, I think I could provide value in the vein that I've actually done thousands of actual taxi trips. Not just me driving around pretending I had a customer, but actually like real use case because when it comes to being a good taxi service there is that that random that chaos factor the randomness you don't know where a person's going to go where you're picking them up and where you're going to drop them off mm. so it takes away that sort of pre-staged like programmable route type of mentality and goes okay no this truly needs to function like a person that one guy's going from the airport downtown that guy downtown is going to encinitas that person in encinitas is going to temecula or something or like random places yeah and I've been able to show the system doing that, not to the perfect degree, but. Have you ever had a customer say, all right, this is sketchy, let's, let's take it off? Or have they, two, have they, ever, have, have they ever noticed that you were on autopilot? I, I've had only two people ever to not want to experience it. Okay. Um, one, it was on, and I could kind of feel her body language and her kind of going like, eh. Yeah. And I was like, I can turn it off. It's totally fine. Like, I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. She's like, yeah, I'd feel, I'd feel better. I was like, no problem. Okay. I turned it off and I just drove her. Uh, version 10 days. And it wasn't doing anything wrong. I think it was more so her internal concept okay. that it was a machine driving her instead of me. And she just didn't feel good about that. Yeah. The second person, I didn't even get a chance to turn it on. She was just immediately in the conversation like, yeah, I heard these drive themselves and like, nope, not happening. No, not going to oh, do it. Oh crap, it's a Tesla. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, don't worry. Yeah. I mean, it's like cruise control. I, I decide when it's on or off and if it makes you more comfortable, we won't turn it on. Yeah. And yeah, so those are the only two. Okay. Um, I did have today uh, the only four passenger ride I've had <laughs> since, or for days now, since doing that little uh, well, since the survey, the only four passenger ride. And you guys having trouble here figuring out who's going? Come on through, Mustang. It's okay. Um, one of the four caught that it was driving itself. He was he was the guy that was sitting behind you because uh, we did a U-turn. 
And I actually said something. I was like, man, you know FSD's getting good when none of y'all caught it doing that U-turn. Mm. And then the guy on the right goes, oh, I saw it. And I was like, yeah, there we go. The other three people were just talking, oblivious. There, he was looking at the screen. Oh, he saw the yoke. Yeah. Oh, Yeah, he okay. saw it spin because he was behind you so Got he could it. actually okay. see it. Oh, it's going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that was great. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. And the guy behind me was like, I would have never known. It doesn't feel any different than just it does a drive. Feel, it does feel a lot less robotic. Yeah. I mean, like majorly majorly yeah that so would put got, us in la jolla by about 11. yeah, yeah so if, we, if we need to abort yeah you just let me if know you don't, if you don't mind yeah what what the hell is that all right Whoa. We're gonna avoid 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 hey oh i think i unintentionally took over okay that's on camera because <laughs> that was I, awesome. my hands were just there and it's like take over immediately vehicle departing lane okay it was avoiding it though. I got it a witness. Was. It was. I think because I, I had my hands too close. And I that think was I just, dope. I, like, I was like, look up. I'm like, what yeah. is that? It was, yeah. It's like when I was driving with my buddy Nani and we were going over Coronado Bridge and we were getting real close to the barrier and I was like, are we going to do it? I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. And he's over here like, <gasps> that's That's the kind of level of, uh, of of push I like to get to because I, I know my own skill set to take over. So I, I know that last minute ditch where I need to bail. Yep. And then the second I felt the yoke adjust, I was like, oh, you got it. But then I, I was overzealous and excited and put too much pressure on the yoke and disengaged. Yeah. So that wasn't the system's fault. That was user error. <laughs> that was cool. Object avoidance on the highway, which is a really important thing because I have seen couches, ladders, trash cans. I mean, you've probably seen a bunch of crap on the highway. There. I went over a uh, mattress on my R6. Oh, yeah. That my, was fun. I, I dodged a mattress in Florida. Um, well, my riding with my buddy, and we, we kind of like did a split around it because <laughs> we're like, What the fuck? <laughs> like, what is this? Yep, 